Hello guys, my name is Ashish and welcome back to my channel All in All Tech. So I'm back with a new video and this video I'm making for those guys that have installed any custom room on OnePlus One and they don't like and they just want to revert back to the official Cyanogen OS of their own choice. So yes, you can revert back to any Cyanogen OS version of your choice. Let it be Lollipop or KitKat or I would say the Marshmallow any version of your choice basically i am making this video so just as to aware you that you can even revert back to official stock os even after installing a custom room so let's get started So what you need to do is, first of all you have to download the official zip file of the Cyanogen OS version that you need to down, you need to install. So here you can see that I have downloaded CM12.1 yog-2k1. This is the version that I have downloaded because I want to revert back to official lollipop. This is the uh, lollipop version that just came before the marshmallow version so let's do how you can do that and you need the set of commands that you, you need to flash using the command prompt these are the commands so don't worry i'll provide the link in the description for from where you can download this official zip file of the version that you want to download and even the commands that you can find here Even you can copy the commands after seeing the video, you can write them, but don't waste your time man. I will be providing the link, you know, the link and the link of the file and even all these commands in the description. So don't worry. So here you can see that this file I am going to flash. So what you now need to do is the prerequisite, I mean the prerequisite for this tutorial is that you need to have the drivers of your oneplus one installed on your pc or laptop and need to have your bootloader unlocked your bootloader should be unlocked and without that you won't be able to install anything so before seeing this video further please see my previous video on how to unlock your bootloader and flash twrp i know you don't need to flash any twrp but you need to unlock your bootloader and i know that if you have this is the common sense thing man that if you have installed any custom ROM then already you will be having a unlocked bootloader so even I am confusing that so if you are in a custom ROM so you don't need to unlock your bootloader because it is already unlocked so just follow this tutorial and those who are still on the official Cyanogen OS like they are on the Marshmallow or Lollipop they want to revert back to the KitKat version so even they can follow this tutorial but the official stock users that don't have unlocked bootloader you have to first unlock your bootloader see my previous video and then follow this so now what you need to do is just reboot your phone in fast boot mode and connect it to your pc you may hear a sound after connecting it to the pc
so now what you need to do is right click on this file and select extract here wait for some time till the files are extracted So now you can see that all the files have been extracted and now what you need to do is press the shift button and now right click. You can see that open command window here. So just click here and command prompt has been opened. So now write the command fast boot devices. Now here you can see that fastboot and the device id that i have connected this is the proof that your phone has been connected in fastboot mode if you don't find this so please don't proceed it will be of no use so pl please first ensure that the drivers are already installed see my previous video for that and now you are connected so now what you need to do is copy this command what you need to do is copy this command copy go to command prompt right click here and your command will be copied and if this doesn't work what you need to do is you have to write whole command okay after writing the command just hit enter i'm not hitting the enter because i don't want to revert back i'm on the moki os version rom so i don't need to revert back so now i'm not hitting the enter because i don't want to install so just hit the enter then what you need to do is copy the next command similarly next command again after pasting it hit enter then you need to flash or i mean to say write all these commands in the fast in the command prompt and just hit enter then come into the last command so here you can see that fastboot flash user data user data dot img in the bracket i have written that please use user data underscore 64 dot img if you are having a one plus one with 64 gb internal storage and those who are having 16 gig byte version use only user data without any underscore 64 so if you are having a 64 version model use 64 g dot img this one the user data this one so now after flashing all the commands one by one this would be the last command flash would flash user data so now what you need to do it at last use this command pass boot pre boot and just hit enter and your device will now reboot and you will be in the stock OS Cyanogen version of your choice. So, and remember that this command, password flash user data, this command will wipe all your internal storage that is in your phone. In, other, in simple, I would say that it will erase all your data on your phone. So, before perform, performing this command, or I would say in the starting of tutorial, please make a backup of your internal storage so that you don't have any loss. And if you have any doubts, please write in the comment section and I will be helping you. And so at the last, I just wanted to say that please like this video. If you think that this is some information that you need and share this video and please subscribe to my channel that I have to see at the end. So stay happy and stay tuned. Okay guys, thank you. Take a chance, take a chance.